Hi, everybody. Oh, let there be light. I was keeping that off so you could see my Christmas lights behind me. I just want to say Merry Christmas to everybody. It's Christmas Eve, and our family is uh, celebrating separately. We're doing a video present opening tomorrow, so I'm going to hope that that all goes smooth and everybody can make it at the same time so we don't have to piece it on there, but we shall see. I am um, just commenting a minute on my last video, if you saw it. Uh, I did edit in the ending at the end so, so that I could make sure everybody knows that I scraped the canvases. And today I'm redoing those canvases. You get to see the painting. You get to see pretty much what happened. I just, I didn't get any color. The gray just took over and I, I'm not sure what I did wrong, but tonight I'm going to try and take off a little bit more paint off of the canvas, blow it off and see if that works. So let's get started. Um, and I'll make things go faster for you, but I did want to put on video what I am doing for the flood and how I want it to work. So let's get started. I'm going to bring you down. Okay. Um, so these are the canvases that I scraped and you can see their dirty edges. So I'm hoping maybe I should have painted the white on there too. Hmm. Cause I did do the gray, um, all around and I was trying to figure out exactly how I wanted this to look. Um, I don't know how I'll hang it, but I wanted to get a better line on the white and the gray. And I know that that line isn't going to stay there. That's, that's just par for the course for me. Um, a little anal retentive. But I am going to try and see if this works. So I'm planning on doing the gray and the white, and then I'm using red, black, and gold. Some of it up, some of it down. Hopefully it all come out right. Cause I, I, I want this on my wall in my office and I have a red valance in there, but the furniture is pretty dark and the walls are gray. So I thought this would probably be a good way to, to um, start a picture is you know what you can do see what you can accomplish with the colors in your house and then move on from there because i am just dying to do one that's full color as a matter of fact let me show you this real quick Ooh, it's still wet with varnish but can you see that it's not exactly what I wanted, um, but it's got a lot of beautiful colors in it. And I'll, I'll show that one again. I think I um, lost the video. I know I did do a video on it, but I, then I think I lost it. So I'm not sure where it is in the cloud. Uh, Cause that's where mine have to go to move to a different system. Because I video with my phone, which is a Samsung, and I edit with my iPad, which is an Apple. So that has to go from my phone to the cloud and then transfer over to the other cloud on my iPad and then bring it down from the cloud. Yes, you're right. That's too many steps, but it works. So I'm waiting to see if I get a new computer for Christmas. And that will be editing this video maybe a little easier if I don't get to it right away. So let's get started with the paint. How's that? Okay, so this is Artist Lock Flow Acrylic White and Black. So in this bottle of 100 or 710 milliliters, I have. 310 milliliters of white and 40 milliliters of black. And I think 
it's like 70 milliliters of white, 10 milliliters of black. And then you go from there, you can expand it out to however, uh, however big your bottle is. So. So my lines are straight lines are gone, but that's okay. Get them back a little bit. And now for I I, I mixed up some um Parole Red and Mars Black to give me a nice rich red and then I found out I had crimson up there which is what I said in the last video but I'm, I'm going to use this up and then put my crimson in this bottle by the way these bottles lowly Beffy bottles terrific just wonderful so let's start out with let's do yikes I don't know this is another thing I kind of have problems with. I don't know what should go first. Or what should go second. Well, I'm getting, looks like just liquid and not the paint. There it comes. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit more red in there. I think I have enough gold. The black is underneath, which is what I wanted. So let's do this thing. Okay, so I got my colors on there and I'm gonna put a little bit of white. Maybe. Very little. Ah, uh, just a little bit for a 
cell activator. Gold usually does a pretty good job, but I'm going to put that on there. And I hope I didn't forgot forgotten anything. Here we go. Okay, I got cells, I got red, I got black, I got very little gold, which it bums me out because that's what I wanted. Um, I think I got paint off, extra paint off. I don't think there's too much paint on there, I'm not sure, but... I almost feel like I want to scrape it again. <laughs> it just is not coming out. Nice. Jeez Louise, what the heck am I doing wrong? Mm. That's it. Um, hopefully the, it'll dry this way. I've got the canvases leveled. So I shouldn't have too much runoff. Um, I used the dryer. I don't, I'm not getting a lot of movement. So, I think we're good on that. I think I'm done. And um, I'll bring you down and let you get a good look at it. Okay, so here it is. 
and I'm happier with this because I did get some gold and the colors are more vivid. So I'd like to know how to do that the first time around. The anxiety is horrible. See that? I don't know if you can see that little bit of glitter that the, the shimmer that the gold gives. But really, really looks a lot better than then it did then it way better than it did the first time and better than the first time I did this one when then scraped it off because I I feel if it dries good that uh, this will be a positive new start for me <laughs> so let's keep our fingers crossed um, again everybody happy holidays um, Happy New Year, because this one might not go on until right before the first of the year. So, um, hope everybody stayed safe and healthy. Uh, appreciate you stopping in. Uh, you can hit the uh, subscribe button woo, down here and hit the bell. Turn it to all so you get notifications when I post another one. Give me a thumbs up for a like. I hope you did like it. And um, I hope you do subscribe. So, thank you very much. Have a great evening, everyone. Bye. Make sure you come back and paint with me. I almost forgot to video a, uh, a final view of the dried result of the picture, which is... Again, not a lot of color. I should have used the bright red instead of trying to make it a, a deeper red, but with a moon, like I say, but it looks like everything matches up so great. Uh, I don't, I'm not gonna say I'll take credit for that. I did try a little, but my goodness. It's got one coat of um, spray varnish on it and I decided to go with the satin instead of the, oh, the high gloss because you can't see the picture and I don't know how that works with resin but end result thanks for watching happy new year